like the government cannot put out a tweet without 20 people approving it. Right. And yet somehow Miss Daly, far down the totem pole, somehow somehow pushed a sole source into GC strategies when the ADM was the one who actually signed the exception. And yet it's all due to this lower level mastermind who pushed it toward GC strategies. Do you not find this like this narrative hard to believe? Buy it for five minutes, so please. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, your briefing that you received before this uh, committee, were you given briefing documents? No. Uh, Just I, a verbal briefing only? That That is correct. So essentially... Okay. No, that's all I need to know if there weren't yeah. anything else. Who instructed you to contact uh, Ms. Daly to start this whole ball rolling? So, so HR, so the Human Resources Unit contacted me. They, uh, so I believe it was a director in Human Resources who was aware uh, the, uh, that the investigation unit. Contact someone at your level to contact Miss Daly. Why not, Mr. von Schoenberg? Yeah. Why would uh, HR not do this themselves? It's a good yeah, thank you for the question, and it's a good question, actually. It could have been Mr. von Schoenberg. Uh, I know uh, the people within Human Resources. I've worked with them quite... How many other, people, how many other yeah. affairs such as this have you got personally involved in at this level of people relatively lower down the At least ladder? two others that I can think of, yeah. yeah. And you don't find it odd that HR would contact you? About this? So, do you th know? yeah, thank you very much for the question. No, I actually know okay. those people. Do you know why specifically she was suspended or put on admin leave? No, because I'm not part of that investigation, so I don't. But you testified earlier that you're hands on, you're a caring person, you wanted to be involved, and you followed up with her, you said, but you didn't follow up when one of your people was suspended and about the reasons why she was suspended. I actually had uh, interactions with her after she was suspended. She asked questions about... But you never asked why she was suspended? It's whose, a, whose decision was it to suspend her? It was made within PSBC, so... It was, yeah. But uh, I, it was not my decision, but I did carry it as uh, her superior. Okay. You were uh, promoted two weeks after her suspension. When did you apply for this promotion or put your name in for the promotion? So, Thank you very much for the question. This was not a promotion. I want to be super clear there. Although uh, I know that it was said that it was a promotion, I was already a director general. I was already an EX3. Uh, I had been for a while. Did you put your name in for this, or they just plucked you out of the air for this uh, role? So I was asked to stand up. Asked by who? Asked by my boss. So who my, is your boss? My when I boss. ask who, I'm asking for names, please, just so, for the future. So my boss is the ADM, uh, Dominique Laporte, and he asked if I would undertake the transformation of professional services. Uh, and uh, as uh, several reports okay. from the audit... You, you repeatedly said that when they contacted you, it was about gaps in the doc or gaps in the story. What were those gaps? Thank you for the question. I don't know because I'm not part of the investigation. But again, as documented through audits that are public, there were gaps in uh, the procurement and in the contract management uh, for RiveCam. Do you know what those gaps were? Did so specifically as part of the investigation? No, I'm not part of the investigation. Let me ask you something. It's very, the narrative here is very strange. One of the things that the... Um, PSPC and Mr. Fleur seems to be going after um, Miss Daly on is, uh, you know, this email, this creative writing that somehow that she had some role in selecting GC strategies. Some at her level would not have been able to do that. Now, who was responsible for signing off on a NSC, the National Security Exemption that they seem to be putting on Miss Daly? So I don't know because I was not part of uh, the procurement process at the time. Are and you aware that the person who signed off on it was Ms. Reza, who is now, of course, the deputy minister? I was not. Do you find it odd that they seem to be targeting someone who is a PGO five, very far down the step ladder, or the very far down the ladder for this, when legally it's the ADM at the time, Ms. Reza, who is accountable and responsible for signing the national security exception. So I was not aware of that, that and I'm, I don't want to speculate on uh, odd or not. No, but or but odd, you, un not you odd. understand how odd this is, that somehow 
this, like the government cannot put out a tweet without 20 people approving it. And yet somehow Miss Daly, far down the totem pole, somehow somehow pushed a sole source into GC strategies when the ADM was the one who actually signed the exception. And yet it's all due to this lower level mastermind who pushed it toward GC strategies. Do you not find this, like this narrative hard to believe? So thank you for the question. I don't want to speculate. Thank you. That is the time.